Hey guys, uh, today we're going to be going over how to set up the pricing for your uh, fence calculator. Uh, so again, we're going to go into fenceprosolutions.com and then fence calculator. And then we're going to log in. All right, so uh, what you, once you log in, um, this is where you're going to set everything up. Uh, so we're just going to click on the first one set up your styles. Now, after you set up your styles, they're going to be in this area here. Okay. So we're going to click on this. And then down here. So this is everything I have set up so far. Um, so like our aluminum, um, which is our puppy or extra picket, uh, regular spaced aluminum, and then we're going to cedar um, and everything else chain link. Now for here, if you notice that there is a um, different thing for the chain link, uh, that's because we have it set up for uh, different pricing for the line post, the corners and ends. Now for the chain link, it will not figure out all the fittings and everything else you need. That's pretty much your job. Um, that I might get it added in the future, but at this point, this is a free uh, service. So I probably won't drop any more money into it. Um, but basically, like you see here, uh, for a line post, uh, it's just 15 um, because at that point, all you're going to need is a line post and the loop cap and some uh, wire ties, right? So then, but the corner, uh, let's go up the end post. So the end post, you're going to need the, um, I don't even do chain link that much. I probably did like three jobs in my whole career. Um, but you got your uh, tension bands and a tension uh, rod and all that stuff. Now, obviously, with the corner post, uh, yeah, you're using the same uh, post as the end post, but then you have all the extra fittings and everything else because you need two sets of them as opposed to just one for the end post. So that's why that's in there. Okay. So uh, just say we're going to set up a new one. So uh, at this point, pressure treated. I haven't done anything with that at this point. I don't think. Nah, I don't think so. So we'll do pressure treated. Um, so in this case, we're going to do the uh, for pressure treat. We use two styles. One's dog ear, and then pretty much just one is stockade. Uh, so the next one, the height in the inches. So it's 72 inches for the height. The color, it's we're just going to call it natural. And the length. So this is not really. It says panel length, but it's really not. This is the uh, the spacing. Uh, so in this case, for pressure treated, it is a true eight foot um, spacing. So it's going to be 96 inches. Okay. Now with vinyl, I had mentioned this in another video, even though they're supposed to be for eight foot, it's really, in our case, it's not a true eight foot. It's actually 95 and a half inches. So you really, in this case, you would put 95 and a half, right? Okay. First tree, it's 96. Now uh, for the panels, um, just say, our, the cost we're going to charge the customer is $100 a panel. Um, there is $0 for, um, there's no caps. The post price, just say we're going to charge 15 The gates, uh, 100 for the three, 125 These numbers aren't real, but I'm just setting it up for you. So just say we do 100 for three, 125 for the four foot, and 150 for the five foot. We're going to save that. Um, Let's see that. So then um, it said it saved, even though there was an error. So I just reloaded it. We're going to go to styles, just to make sure it's in there. So pressure treated, dog gear. Okay, so we have all that. So that's it for that. Now we're going to go into the R pricing. So this is basically your retail pricing that you would be charging the customer. Now, if you want to figure out how much you are, um, how much profit you would be making, you would just find your pressure treated. So this is where you put the actual pricing for everything. So it goes for the gate, for the three, four, and five foot gate, then the panel, then the post, then the cap. Okay. So in this case, the panel, just say it really only costs us 50 bucks, we're, but we're charging 100. I mean, I'm sorry, this is for the gate. So just say it costs $50 for the three, 75 for the four, and 100 for the five. For the panel, even though we're charging the customer 100, it only costs us 50. 
in the post just because it costs uh, we're charging the customer 15 but we're only um, it only costs us 10 and again there's no cap pricing okay after that you're gonna hit save so lastly uh, that's for the um, the materials now we're gonna set up your labor charges okay so now there is different pricing for each category um, because like for chain link, like for typically for us, for uh, cedar and vinyl, uh, we're gonna charge one price for installation. Whereas for aluminum, we're gonna charge a little bit less. Um, and that is just because it's easier for us to, um, to install the aluminum that it is for the vinyl or the cedar. So in this case, we're doing pressure treated labor charge per post. Um, in this case, uh, we're gonna do $40 a hole. Um, and then for the hard holes, same thing, 50, and then removal charge $2 a foot. So we're gonna save all this stuff. And that's it. So uh, hopefully that answered any questions you have and we'll do a few more videos and I will put the links in the description. So you can have a complete series of learning all this stuff. All right. Thanks and have a great day.